I'm Atuba George and I bless God for this opportunity that he's given us to share his truth with you. We're going to have a wonderful time. I know this. Praise God. Now, hey, let's, let's make our demands. That's so important. You make this demand, especially this month. Praise God. I don't know what need you have today. I don't know what bill that is waiting for you to come clear today. But listen, I believe in miracles. And I believe in Jesus Christ. Praise God. So are you ready to make your demand? Say with me. Say, Father, give me today my daily bread. I receive it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. It's coming. I'm telling you today's miracle is coming. Alabayaka. Listen, you can receive miracles every day. Don't think you weary God. Think about it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's just pray and go into today's broadcast. Father, we just bless you. We love you so much. You know why we love you, Lord? Because you first loved us. <laughs> you demonstrated love to us. And we copy from you to love you back. Hallelujah. And, and the demonstration of your love to us is by you giving us your word, which is truth. And our demonstration of our love to you is us keeping the word that you have given to us. Thank you for the blessedness of this fellowship. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare today burdens are being lifted Right now, yokes are being destroyed from every soul that is listening to me right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I shared with you yesterday from Hebrews 13. He says, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Hey, do you realize Jesus is with you today? Do you realize that? Do you know that? Not because I said so. See, you know, sometimes we mix these things up. We, we think, oh, this man of God is so special that he came to my house, see, to pray for me or to bless me. But actually, you were so special that God commanded the man of God to come by your place and pray for you. Can you see? It's the truth. It's the truth. Now that's why Jesus, when, when people get healed, he will always tell them, no, 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 it's not me. It is your faith that has made you whole. Why? Because they believed in God. And because they believed in God, God commanded Jesus to go by that way. Is God. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. A man who's led by the Spirit of God will only go where God commands him to go. Now, when God commands him to come your way, then you are the one that is special. Praise God. So, so the words that I share with you today, it's not because I'm so loaded or I'm so knowledgeable with God's word. No, 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 no. It's because you are so special that God knows he has to load me up to bless you. Praise God. That's the truth. And that is what I want you to think. That is the truth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you're the special one. Praise God. So he said he, he will never leave you. And this is the reason he's telling us, don't be covetous. Don't live life like you are alone. Don't live like that you have to struggle by yourself. Live life with the understanding that he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You know, he now said in the next verse, this Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 and 6. Now, 
in, in, in verse 6, it says, So that you may boldly say, not, not that. No, no. He says, so that you may boldly, you know, you know what it means to boldly say. He's talking about being boastful in the Lord. Praise God. Hey, how are you going to do that thing? Tomorrow is the deadline. You know, like they say. He say, ah, yeah, don't worry. I'll fix it. How are you going to fix it? Because he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. La Do you know what that means? Now, what does it mean to have God be with you? Have you thought about it? Why should God be with you? And what is he doing in your life? He is in your life for this one purpose. To tell you what to do. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. He is in your life today to tell you what to do. That is why you should never be stranded in life any day at all. You should never be stranded. You shouldn't sit down there thinking, how are you going to pay that rent money? You shouldn't sit down there thinking, how are you going to pay that bill? How are you going to pay those school fees? Oh, oh, how are you going to handle this? No, no, no. Don't, don't. See, you insult him when you do that. He is with you. So instead of wondering and murmuring and complaining, why don't you just ask him, Lord, our rent is due. So how do we get the money to pay the rent? Now, not, not asking him like, doubtingly you know understand what I'm saying? no asking him in faith say lord i know you have provided this money because you know what he knew that rent was going to be before that day came he knew and i'll tell you something he's a master planner meaning he had already planned for that rent for you so all you need is that he opens your eyes to see where he has made the provision for that rent now, when you are conscious that he is with you, when you are conscious that he will never forsake you, you know what happens? He is now, you now rely on him and say, Lord, you know we don't owe. Now, that's another thing you need to learn. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Like, I'm, I'm going ahead of myself. Praise God. Now, now, let, let's slow down. Let's slow down and take this thing gently. So now he says, hey, don't be covetous. Rather, be content with what you have today. Be content with what you have right now. And because what you have is enough to meet any need that will show up today. Oh, Pastor Tuba, you don't understand. You don't understand. I was dreaming out. Oh, I've been threatened that if I don't handle this, if I don't pay this, I'll be dealt with. Hey, yeah, it doesn't matter. Remember, he is with you to tell you what you should do. So what should you say to him? Lord, what do I do in this situation? Lord, how do I handle this situation? And listen. You see, the problem with a lot of people, they don't know how to listen to the voice of the Lord. They don't know. He is with you. He is not a magician. He does miracles, but he is not a magician. See, a magician is the one who does things to wow you and to want to make you wonder. And then you don't, you don't have to understand what he's doing. But he, he is not a magician. He's in relationship with us. And he does miracles in our lives when we follow his instructions. So, for example, you go before him and say, Lord, where have you provided this money? I need to know so that we don't owe. And then he says, all right, son call so and so person you say ah oh, that's true i've not heard from this person for so long and you now take up your phone and you call ah how are you do you know i've been thinking of you all day i was just wondering what, how, what i saved your number with or how 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 i saved your number thank god you called there is this opportunity that that came up and i was just thinking of you and in fact thank god you just called praise god and I, oh yeah so, so so can we can we meet oh yes we can meet and then you meet and something comes up and that bill is sorted out that's god for you I know of a dear sister, you know, sharing this testimony with me. See, God had blessed her and she has been taught like we do in, in, in our meetings that when, when, when God blesses you and then you take out the tithe as a mark of honor to the Lord, then secondly, you must listen to the voice of God to where he wants you to take the tithe to. So you must listen for his voice. So she, she got blessed and 
then she, she began to ask the Lord, Lord, I'm, I'm going to pay my tithe this way. You know, I want you to tell me who to give this money to because it's your money. So tell me who to give this money to. And, and, and suddenly, the Lord began to bring someone's name to her spirit. And she began to like, hey, I've not heard from this person for so long. And then she said, can you imagine? Even, even this lady, can, can, she didn't even call me this whole year. And, and she was just thinking all that thought, you know. Instead of picking her phone to call the person, she was like, ah, that's true. Can, oh, she didn't even call me. Can you, but when I call her, I'm going, to, I'm going to rebuke her. Why didn't she, why hasn't she called me this whole year? And then all that thing, she got distracted and got doing, she, she kind of forgot that God had said, give this money. Or she, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. Now, Later on that day, the same day, this particular person called her. And she saw the call and like, whoa, I was just thinking of you. And then she, she picked up the call and, and now she, you know, she was like, look, I'm going to say exactly what I plan to say to her. And then she picked up the phone and said, you, you refuse to call me. And then the guy said, oh, Auntie Luke, this is the situation now. I just gave birth through CS in the hospital and right now we're we, we being detained in the hospital so until we pay this amount and brothers and sisters guess what the amount she needed to get out of the hospital was exactly the amount that this this lady had been commanded to send to her now how do you explain that now you see god had already commanded someone and while the person was still, you know, thinking about it and, and, and just, okay, I'm going to do it. She agreed that she was going to do it. And then suddenly, the person in need received the same call in her spirit. While she was asking, oh God, how do we pay this? Because they call to so and so person. Oh, thank you. You know, that's the reason the Bible says, hey, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Now, listen. He is not saying dwell together like all of us gather in one place and say we are united. No, that's the way he's saying. He is saying that our hearts are free with one another. You know what he said concerning? He said it is in that place that God has commanded his blessing. Even life forevermore. So how does this work? Someone is in need. He asks God. God speaks to someone. That other person is, is, is there trusting the Lord. And then the Lord says, oh, you call this person. And, and he calls. And because there is unity amongst us, when the Lord says, oh, give this person this, call this person and do this for this person, there is so much liberty and freedom in our hearts. But when we allow strife and all that nonsense in our hearts, even when God says, oh, call the person. No, I'm not going to call him. What? He, he offended me last time. I'm not going to call him. Praise God. That shouldn't be your life. That shouldn't be your life. Listen, allow your spirits to be free. And because God is pouring out so much blessing in our lives this month. And you need to understand it. You need to understand it. So, you find that because he is with you, and that's, that's the assurance he's giving you now. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And the reason is so that you will be bold to say, I fear nothing. Praise God. I don't fear what any man will do unto me. I don't fear what that bill is going to do unto me. I don't fear. I fear nothing. Why? Because God loves me and he is with me. He said he will never forsake me. Glory to God. Now, do you believe that he is with you? Think about it. Do you really believe right there where you are now? Do you really believe he is with you? If you believe it like I do, then I want you to do this. Just open your mouth and say, Lord, now, what is that need in your life right now, presently? I'm not talking about, oh God, just bless me, just bless No, I'm talking about presently, today, as you're listening to me now. What is that need in your life? Can you just voice it out to him? And what, so what should I say? Just tell him, Lord, I know you love me enough and you have provided this thing somewhere for me. Can you direct me to where you have provided this thing? And when you say, when you talk like that, be calm 
and listening. Just listen to your heart. Listen to your spirit. Soon, something will be dropping in your heart. I'm going to tell you tomorrow how you know the difference between the voice of God in this situation and the voice of your mind. Praise God. Now, our time is up for today. Praise God. Listen, I told you it's going to be a wonderful week. And, and, and it's, it's already wonderful for some of you. Praise God. And a miracle is taking place already in your life. Today will not end until your miracle comes. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.